everyone, it's Dmitry. And today we continue to talk about different kinds of knife steels. Previously we've been talking about CPM3V and our today guest star is Sleipnir. This is a universal kind of traditional steel produced by German company Beller in 2001. This steel is used for manufacturing of heavy industrial stamps and today we will talk about its properties and composition and a little bit of backstory. This knife would be a good example to discuss and sharpen. Let's begin! From ancient German, Sleipni is translated as sliding. Also, it is the name of the Odin's horse. Odin was the main god in Scandinavian mythology. So, this horse had eight legs. And as the manufacturer of this steel states, this steel has eight useful properties. What are they? Let's find out. Our knife for today is Vector by Kislar Supreme. This knife was developed as a cheap, simple utility knife that can easily handle with huge loads. You can open a metal can with it, you can use it as a crowbar opening the locked door, and it's a good choice for people who like tourism and hunting. The thickness of this blade is 5.7 mm, the total length is 116 mm, Sleipni is a traditional high alloy tool steel which is characterized by its high viscosity, stability and uniformity of structure. It is alloyed with chromium, molybdenum and vanadium. The operating range of hardness of this steel, as the manufacturer states, is between uh, 57 and 64 points of Rockwell. But after quenching in nitrogen and tempering, its operating range of hardness is between 61 and 63 points of Rockwell. Sleipnir blade has a very good wear resistance, very high chip resistance, which means that more likely it will bend than break. And also it has improved impact strength in comparison with popular American D2 steel, as you may see in the chart provided by the steel manufacturer. But a small amount of chromium in the content of this steel doesn't allow to call it a stainless one. Which is why, to avoid pitting, this steel requires additional care. You have to wipe it dry and cover it at least once per month with a protective layer of oil, just like ballistol or something like that. Now let's talk about steel composition. A significant amount of carbon allows steel to be hardened to high hardness values. The carbon content in the Sleipni is 0.9%. It is the most important steel element, which increases its strength and gives metal a good hardness. The chromium content in the alloy is 7.8%. Chrome is responsible for rust resistance, just as we said before. Of course, this steel has a certain resistance against corrosion, but since it is less than 12, it means that we cannot call this steel a stainless one. Molybdenum. It helps to avoid brittleness and also it is a hard melting element which makes the steel resistant against high temperatures. Here it's 2.5%. Vanadium content in the alloy is 0.5%. It is responsible for elasticity and enhances properties of steel gives metal inertia to aggressive chemical media. Silicon content in the Sleipner is 0.9. Silicon increases the strength and wear resistance of the steel. Like manganese, it makes steel more stable and reliable. Here manganese is around 0.5%. Manganese is about the durability. That's why such items as rails, safe, industrial stamps, etc., which require the high durability, are normally made of sorts of steel that have a lot of manganese in the content. To have a brief summary about this steel, what can we say? 
It's a high alloy universal steel. It is very budget friendly. If you are looking for alternative to well-known D2 steel, then here you go. The technology is a little bit more complex. Uh, the heat treatment of the steel requires uh, precise equipment. That's why not so many manufacturers would like to mess with this certain type of steel. But it fits for any knife from compact ADC to huge machetes. And uh, also it gets the job done. Because when I need a good knife somewhere outdoors, for example, when I don't want to have just a sharp knife, but also to be able to sharpen this knife easily without too much effort, well, this could be sharpened with any kind of abrasive you have at hand. That's why great steel, nice knife. Let's see how we may sharpen it. To test how the steel will show itself during the sharpening process, we decided to change the factory angle from 52 degrees to 42 degrees. To sharpen it, we used three layer diamond plates to give a new shape and angle to the knife and alpha abrasive stones to shape the cutting edge itself and finishing operations. Slapner steel processes easily and may be sharpened with any abrasive stone you have nearby. The most adequate finish for the knife made of the slateness steel would be a stone not finer than 7.5. More fine finish will lead to loss of aggression of the cut. As a result of the sharpening process, we see that the bevel got wider because we changed the angle. The knife cuts easily through tissue paper. With our microscope we may see the clean cutting edge. Small dots on the bevel that you see are the carbides. To my opinion this would be a good choice when you want an affordable steel and a clean cut. I guess that would be all for today. Hope all of you learned something new. In case you have additional questions about this steel, feel free to share your comments down below. Don't forget to press like and subscribe to our channel. I am always happy to see you. Hope you are always happy to see me. And uh, I'll see you next time.